it, oh, is it possible to, re to achieve results uh, without a bone graft? Uh, yes, it is. The difference between a blood clot, which is the preferred method for most extraction sites if we're not trying to save the bone height at its maximum, uh, versus a bone graft is that clot will, will organize and it will lose a lot of its substance as, it, as time goes by. So what happens is that clot will drop below the bone level and the bone within a year is going to follow that a millimeter or so. So we're going to lose about a millimeter of bone height if we just use a, bl a blood clot. It's ideal to use console or synergy or another osteoconductive graft like that to make sure that the bone stays at its maximal height. So where it is at the time of extraction can be maintained if you use a bone graft. The time you want to use a bone graft is if the bone is real thin next to the tooth you extracted or if you're doing root planing and curatage and you're trying to save uh, a tooth uh, with or without extraction of the adjacent tooth. So I hope that Hope that uh, clears that up. Again, that's a it's kind of a tough subject to approach without video, without uh, without images. So those again, the extraction course goes goes over all that really well for you.